Hello guys, Break Friday is coming soon so I decided to make a video to show you how to keep track of the price of an item to find out if you are really getting the best deal you can ever get. So let's get started. First you'll need two Python libraries. One is called Beautiful Soap 4 and the other one that I talked about in another video is called requests you can install it like this and uh, i'm going to keep track of the price of an item on amazon.com but you can adapt this tutorial for other websites because it's very easy with python so let's get started And that's how you do it. You could also write another script that will use this one to verify more links and so on. But uh, that's pretty easy, so I won't talk about that in this tutorial. Also, you can you could add a cron job to run this every few hours, or you can run it manually every day depends on your needs now let's go and explain it line by line here we open the import the request library and the system one we need the system one to get the arguments from the script we import the at a time to write every time there is a, a new price update as you can see it's a csv file and we import the beautiful soup library here is your pretty standard header 
for request now parameters and it returns the text now for get price we use beautiful soap to find the element that contains the price by the ID uh, now let me show you how I got in this basically you go to the web page that you want to create click on the element in this case the price click on inspect elements and then you should have an element here sometimes it will contain an ID and this is the easiest option other times you will have to get the class and then use it to find more elements with the same class and find the number of that element but that's a story for another tutorial as this one has a id or you could use an id for another element that contains that element and then use find again that will work too and then we return the text of that element which is this we don't need the html code and then we have a function to save the history that's pretty basic it gets an it input a name and a price and it saves the the history to a folder called data don't forget to create that folder before you use the script and it uses the name in case you want to track more things you want to buy on the on black friday also here this is very important a means it will append to the end of file instead of replacing it or just open to read it and here we get the current date time in this format and here we write to the file don't forget the new line sign otherwise all your data will be in one line and now using the sys library we get the two positional arguments first is name and second is link then we call this function in order first we get the source then we find the element with the price and get its price and then we just save to history now you could just make another script that will call this with more elements from a file okay the script will, will look something like this So you have an example where file, file name is the file that contains your data, I mean your link and the name and you can add multiple links and multiple names then Here we remove the, the new line sign. And this is the format your file should be in. then just call the functions above and 
that's how you do it for multiple files and as I said your file should be like this that's it for today guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you will get the best prices that are possible on Black Friday and don't be fooled by fake offers using this script you can be sure that you will get the best deals if you like this video please click the like button or dislike if you didn't don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch more videos like this thank you for watching bye bye